London Secrets, All Hallows by the Tower. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Opposite the world renowned Great Tower of London lies one of London's less famous historical treasures, the beautiful church of All Hallows by the Tower. Step 1 What's the big secret? Founded 400 years before the Tower of London, a church has stood on this site since 675 AD, making All Hallows one of the oldest churches in the City of London. Having survived 1300 years of history, including the Great Fire of London, before being bombed during the Second World War, the church is a must-see for anyone interested in London's history. Indeed, some have said that the history of the church is the history of the City of London. Step 2. What's on offer? Open every day for visitors, All Hallows by the Tower offers spiritual sanctuary from the bustle of city life. Although rebuilt after the Second World War, the church houses enough historical artefacts to easily while away a couple of hours. The nave of the church holds an eclectic mix of historical items, an archway from the original Saxon building dating back to the 7th century, the famous Tate panel, the remains of a winged triptych commissioned around 1500, and a delicate font cover carved by Master Woodsmith Grimling Gibbons in 1682 are among the highlights. Below ground you will find a pair of enticing and ancient chapels. The Barrel Arch St Francis Chapel was built around 1280, but later lost for 300 years. It was rediscovered in 1925. St Clair's Oratory was the 28-year resting place of Archbishop William Lord, after he was beheaded at the Tower for treason in 1645. The Saxon-built Undercroft is now used as a museum in its own right, and houses the oldest exhibit in the building, a Roman pavement dating back to the 2nd century AD. This is the most perfectly preserved of its kind in the city, and a reminder of London's long history. The Undercroft also holds the centuries-old registers of the church, recording a long list of famous historical names connected with the church. William Penn, founder of Pennsylvania, was baptised here in 1644. John Quincy Adams, the sixth president of the USA, was married here in 1797. All Hallows by the Tower also plays host to a range of musical events. An organ recital takes place at 10 past 1 every Thursday lunchtime, with other concerts taking place regularly. The concert diary is available on the All Hallows website. All Hallows by the Tower is an enticing historical and cultural experience, slightly off the well-beaten track of the regular tourist attractions. If you're looking for a unique take on London's history, then All Hallows is well worth a look. Step 3. Where is it? All Hallows by the Tower can be found on Bywood Street, opposite the Great Tower of London. Tower Hill is the nearest tube station. The church is open from 8.30 till 6 on weekdays and 10 till 4 at weekends. Entry is free with a small admission fee for the Undercroft Museum. You can also leave a voluntary donation to the church to show your appreciation.